Was it corporate abuse or a rogue employee? That's the decision for a jury this afternoon as members discuss whether an ambulance company is responsible for the actions of a paramedic charged with fondling women in the back of the vehicle. Coin Local 6 reporter Alana Quila was in the courtroom this morning for closing arguments and Alana bring us up to date. Well, Mike, those closing arguments are finished. That decision is getting handed over to a jury as we speak. Now, the victim's attorney, very adamant, says his client is damaged because of what happened during the ride in an ambulance. 29-year-old Roy Shiga Harry testified earlier this week, saying the damage is even worse because she learned other women previously reported similar abuse. Now, both sides agree on one thing. Lanny Hazard was a sexual predator who planned abuse and hid in plain sight as a paramedic. Now, one question for the jury was AMR, the ambulance company who hired Lanny Hazard, negligent in Herring's complaint. If so, did its negligence damage Herring? For those who are willing to do what it takes to protect the company the way the people on top want it to be protected, they move up. And so the culture tightens. What we do dispute, ladies and gentlemen, is this lawsuit, is this claim that AMR should pay $5 million just because, unfortunately, AMR Northwest was the employer. But Herring's attorney says once AMR knew about possible victims, they didn't do anything to stop or prevent it from happening again. Instead, the attorney for AMR told the jury it only disputes this $5 million lawsuit filed five days after the abuse occurred and that it knowingly covered up a sex offender. Now, Lanny Hazard pleaded guilty to groping Herring and three other female patients a year ago. He was sentenced to five years in jail. So this is the civil trial. So since it's a lawsuit, the jury has two counts here to consider. Abuse of a vulnerable person because Herring was a patient in the back of an ambulance and also negligence. It comes with a $5 million price tag. Of course, it's the jury who gets to decide whether or not AMR is guilty of these charges and whether Herring should receive the $5 million. Reporting live in downtown Portland, Alana Quila, Corn Local 6.